Today, we're going to experiment with the new GW gemstone effects. Yo dog, Kenny Boucher here. Next, level painting, hitting you up. On the literal best of all days on this glorious Friday morning in the Beats Lab, I'm going to show you the new GW technical effects. We're gonna experiment with them. We're gonna play with them. We're gonna try them out. I've never used them before at this moment. You guys have seen my live stream perhaps, everything like that. I recorded this. As soon as I got them, I opened them, tried them out, played with them, went nuts. Kind of put them through the next level painting ancient Chinese protocol for testing. We are not playing around here. Though it's gonna look a lot like we're playing around here. I promise you it's not that. We're not scientists. I'm digging deep in the toolbox. Gonna pull out a few old chaos clutch models. We're gonna throw some of this gemstone on them. See how we like it. I'm also gonna pull out the Imperial Bunker we worked on a couple of weeks ago in the live stream. And I'm gonna show you that. I wanna shout out a couple of clutch individuals. Sean, Frank, you guys are my most recent patrons this week. And I wanna say thank you. For you guys who don't know, Patreon is my personal crowdfunding page. It is a way for you guys to interact with me and help me keep the lights on. Also, let's talk about Twitch. If you guys don't know, I have a live Twitch stream. Twitch is like a TV station for us to interact with each other, work on projects live and do live Q and A's. And I got tons of rewards and fun little options over there. So definitely check out the next underscore level underscore painting Twitch channel. If you haven't heard, thelongwar.net has the fastest growing library in video content for miniature war gaming. I'm talking about building, unboxings, tactics, battle reports, painting tutorials, and more. Check out thelongwar.net. Anyway, let's do this thing. All right, let's do this thing. Let's grab that new technical Spirit Stone Red gem effect. And I already got some cool little chaos models already prepared for you guys. We're just going to experiment. We're going to throw some of this red over the gold. And I think that's what they recommend to do. So I'm trying my best, you know, to lay it down and like push or mound up, you know, more of the red into one area of the gem to create that, you know, that depth that you're trying to go for in a gem effect. You know, I was hoping it'd go on a little easier than that. That's my first attempt. You know, so we're going to go and try it again over here. This is a real brighter. This is a brighter gold right here. And you know, we're getting it in there. We're able to manipulate it. And actually you do have a few seconds to manipulate it. It's a real thick, you know, sticky technical. It's a, you know, it's, it's definitely heavily relying on a metallic undercoat to get its effect. It's a deep translucent color. It's shiny and it is absolutely beginning to look like a gemstone there. As you can see, has a great look. I mean, it's like, it's like the next level. Like, you know, you've got glazes, you've got washes. This is something else. And, and I do like it, actually. It is real fun. My favorite thing so far um, is that it actually is not difficult to apply at all. <laughs> I'm all about easiness. So let's hit that waystone green now. And let's just play around. I got some really bright silver ones laid out. They said the brighter the metal, the better. These are as bright as I get. You know, I'm just pouring it on there, trying to push the excess green up into one area so it's you know it, it's not going exactly the way i want to it's probably gravity fighting me but as long as you can get the, it pushed to a different area you're, that's the effect you're going for you want it to gleam in one section and be dark in another and so far i like it you know we're, we're just gonna keep focusing on the green here for a second we're just playing with them all i've never used these before i got them in a the mail Pulled out some chaos models I had in my bag. Painted some of those little areas on them, silver and gold, to, to prep for this so I can just try them right now. You know, no movie magic. Let's grab the blue, the soul stone blue. And let's keep it going. Let's keep it alive. You know, just keep picking out little areas and keep playing with it. So far, the green is really fun. Uh, the red, I like the way the red looks. I think the red's a little bit harder to make look good. But the blue is definitely very striking. I like it. Very dark, very, very fun. And as you can see in a model like these pink cores, we have all these little jewel, like jewels on them. Most people don't even paint them. They just ignore them because it's just an overload of detail, you know? And so most people, they get to their model to this point and they just say, eh, it's good enough. So what I like is that these are going to drive people to hit more of the details on their models. And that's a good thing overall for the hobby. 
This is definitely, you know, a really solid technical effect from Games Workshop. I've always been impressed with GW technicals. Typhus Corrosion, Rizzo Rust, the Oxide colors. Um, I love them. And now they've got a new thing for me to add to my arsenal, which is these gemstone effects. And as you can see, you can play with it. You can move it around. You get enough, you know, you definitely get enough time to manipulate it. And I, and I even experiment as we go on. I throw a little water on the brush, see if I can remove excess. Like right here, I'm trying to remove a little bit of the excess blue to see if that works in reverse. You know, and it does. So you can't manipulate them. And you got that shine. Looks good. So now let's try something crazy. It's time to experiment. Like I've said, this is day one. You know me. I gotta mix two colors together. So I'm trying to make a purple. I mix the blue and the red together into a very dark purple. Real heavy on the blue side. Hey, there's a real dark purple gem right there. Real violet. You know, so not, not my favorite. Like I was hoping it'd be a little bit more purple. But I'm, you know, I'm playing with it. You know, seeing how I feel, how I feel it. Um, you can add a little bit more red to this mix and you can get a, like a different, you know, look. So essentially the technical effects can make more colors, uh, if you want them to, but obviously the power colors they chose, I think are a little stronger than these purple, this purple I just invented. But you know me, I got to figure out if there's a way to use the purple. So I'm going to keep playing with it. I put a little bit more red into it. So we got a lot, a, a slightly different, more magenta purple here. You know, I'm happy with that. I'm down. You know, look up. I mean, they got all these jewels on them. I like it. I like them to be all different colors. Let's grab that Spirit Stone Red again. Um, now let's try the Spirit Stone Red over silver. Now we we tried it over gold. And that's what they recommend. But hey, let's see how it looks over silver. You know, like I want to try all the things. And so far, so good. You know, honestly, I don't really think you need to play. I don't think you need to make them gold. You know, it doesn't look like it matters to me. Like it still is quite clearly a red gem. So you don't have to overthink anything in my opinion. And I think it's easier to get a much brighter silver out too. So uh, let's go back to that soul stone blue. You know, let's in the spirit of experimentation, let's pull, let's whip out our little purple mixture again, you know, and mix it into a gem we already laid down. And what I'm doing here is I'm drawing that little dark ring, which is kind of what they want you to do. They want you to put it on and pile it up in one area to create the darker area of the jewel effect. Now, if I was painting these without the effects, I would paint a little black area at the top of the jewel. And so I'm trying that with the blue over red to see if I can get a, get more definition, you know, get like a stronger effect. So far, look, I'm, I think that it's a, I think that'll ride. You know, I ain't, I ain't upset about that. Okay, let's grab a totally different model now that we've seen them on all these little whores. Got a Chaos Chosen right here. Uh, let's paint that red over his gold eye on his chest. See how it looks. It's a little, a little bit different shape, a little bit, you know, it's it doesn't have a very clear uh, symmetry to it like the perfect spheres do. So I'm anxious to see how it looks. It's a little bit more difficult to apply. I'm not getting it exactly the way I want. So I'm taking a little water on my brush and I'm gonna remove a little bit of the red the best I can. You only have a few seconds window to be able to do that. You don't get to, you don't get to make that decision later. You gotta move pretty fast with these things. We're gonna paint the other little piece of drawer he has. We're gonna paint it with the blue. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna and you know what? We're not done. We're gonna try that same thing we just did on that pink core. I'm gonna come back in on the gemstone on his chest, on his on the eye on his chest. And we're going to cut that little darker spot in, with, you know, by mixing our blue in with the red and creating that purple right out the gate. Already like where, where it's, where it's going. I think it's, you're getting a real solid effect with that. You know, it's, it's real interesting. Like I said, that's exactly how I would paint them if I wasn't using. Now I know it kind of goes against the spirit of using the tentacle because the tentacle is, is glossy and it's a little has depth to it so you're creating a gemstone look by actually making something a gemstone by having a reflective core and a transition color over it the light is bouncing off the reflection back to the top and that's how you get that like illusion of black and white and a gleam interacting that's why gems look the way they do now i'm not done i want to i'm gonna paint it into his eye you know he's got a lens in there you know let's see what that looks like when that dries up you know like i'm just going nuts here 
I think that these are fun and there's a lot of application for them. I think his eye definitely looks shiny and glowy, has a lens effect to it. I'm down for it. So I'm gonna try something, I'm gonna go one level ahead. I'm gonna grab my gloss coat and mix it in with a little white so it's still shiny as a medium. And I'm gonna paint, a, I'm gonna dot a little white gleam on the top of that dark spot that we painted on his eye. And just to kind of reinforce, like I said, it kind of goes against the spirit of the fact that I'm kind of creating the illusion myself, but I just want to see what it does. Hey, check it out. Here's an Imperial Bunker I painted in a live stream the other day. I just went back real quick and threw the blues real quick, didn't change anything, right over those grates, over those lenses, over these little irises on these buttons. Uh, hey, look at that. Like I said, with a technical effect like this, there is a drive now to paint all these little details. I never would have painted that little, um, whatever the fuck that thing is inside of the bunker on the top. Literally, that would have been dead to me forever. So I came back in there and painted him silver. And now I'm using that, that blue. And I'm, like I said, this is gonna change the face of the hobby. I'm using that green here. I'm gonna create like the, you know, the emergency stop button and the go button on this thing. Like, it, like I said, I never would have even considered painting these before. I'm like, you know what, who cares? But this is actually so easy and you get a solid effect from it that it's worth going back in and painting any little thing that you want. You know, go crazy with it. You know, at least for a little while until you figure out exactly how you want to use them. But here are the three colors right here to summarize. Waystone green, Spiritstone red, and, blue, and Soulstone blue. Anyway, play on, players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.